Hello everyone, welcome to What Was Buffin. This is your host Misan, and we are working with a series named WordPress for Absolute Beginners. This is the WordPress management series uh, that will help the beginners to understand anything about WordPress and how to start using WordPress. So far, we have learned about how to install WordPress, a quick look at the WordPress dashboard. And also we have learned about the commonly used WordPress terms. In the last video, I've talked about the post and post categories. In today's video, I would like to discuss about the tags and uh, what is the difference between tags and categories and when to use tags and uh, uh, how to use tags in post and pages. So let's get started. WordPress tag is one of the default tools you can use to categorize your WordPress post. Each post can have multiple tags and visitor can click on tag to find similar posts uh, that have uh, the same tag. Unlike WordPress categories, tags are completely optional. That is, you are free to add WordPress tags to your post, uh, but uh, you, you, uh, but you can also publish a post without tags. The choice is yours. On a technical level, both tags and categories are taxonomies. Uh, there are different kinds of uh, taxonomies and uh, taxonomy is just a fancy word uh, or a um, technical word, I should say, uh, that actually uh, we use to, you know, develop things like tags, categories, custom categories, things like that. So it's actually completely optional you can use tags if you like you um, but you have to use a category if you are posting in wordpress uh, so uh, that's the only difference but tags helps uh, uh, to combine same types of content for example let's say that we are on a supermarket and uh, we we'll see that in some cases there are uh, discounts in the supermarket uh, maybe on a rack it is ten dollar products on another rack it is twenty dollar products or maybe in a rack it's vegetable in another rack it is uh, like um, meat so that could be defined as tags and on tags there are different types of vegetables uh, which are actually vegetables or maybe meats things like that so it's easier to you know find similar content based on tags but uh, category could be very specific to something so uh, that's the case so it's totally up to you when you're going to use tags and when you're going to categories uh, when you're going to use categories so let's take a look how to use tags Okay, so we are on our lab.wpboffins.com and uh, from here I am going to start a new post. And uh, let's see, I'm giving a title, vegetables. Mm, green vegetables, let's say veggie tables okay so from here we can give the tags like we can add green vegetable as our tags veggie tables so now when you're typing on this box uh, what this will scan uh, the tags uh, database and figure out if that tags already used or not if not then you just have to uh, give a comma or you can hit enter if you just want to give one tag and if you want to have more tags then you can give a comma and start writing another tags name so so these are newly uh, added tags that's why there were uh, were no auto suggestion of tags from the database so i'm going to publish this post and then i will see the post so these are the tags okay these are the tags this is the uncategorized the default category because i haven't selected any category so let's say that i'm clicking on vegetables now there is only one post with vegetables let's make another post and i'm going to give it a papaya name that kind of another vegetable and uh, let's say green papaya papaya 
and now i'm going to add another tag from this post of block editor and let's say the tag is vegetables vegetables so i'm writing the tag lit now as the tag is already exists so i'm seeing the tag so i can type or i can just click on here and i'm now going to publish it let's check how it looks so there is only one tag uh, the design of the website will be different based on your themes now if i click on vegetables i will see there are two posts one is vegetables another is papaya so based on this tag you can easily figure out which uh, uh, post are written on that tags and there uh, in the url we'll see the tags are defined tag slash the tag name so in this way you can find any tag on any website that are built on wordpress and it is quite uh, helpful sometimes for uh, the visitor and also for the search engine uh, so that they can figure out the similar kind of content based on something now we can also add tags from uh, post and tags from the post menu and tags from here we can see all the tags like there are two tags on this website one is green vegetables and another one is vegetable and this tag has been used uh, how many times will be shown in the count column so vegetable has been used twice and um, green vegetables has been used once and if we want we can create tags beforehand like without uh, putting it on the post let's say that i want to make a tag named meat so i'm going to add it and slug is simply the permalink uh, name like if you have multiple words then there will be hyphen we have already discussed about that on our previous videos so you can define your tag uh, slug by yourself or maybe not by yourself uh, it will be automatically in, in, uh, added by wordpress but um it's better if you want to make something meaningful then write your own slug and description is uh, like it's a meta description for the search engine and also for the user if your theme supports a good design and shows the description of the post so you can also write that if you want for now i'm not giving anything and i'm just hitting the um, add new tag now there is no count uh, because i haven't added this on any blog post or even in a page let's add a tag on a page let's see how it goes so from here uh, the options are coming options are coming so i think my theme doesn't support any mm, tags on it for page uh, some themes supports or some custom post types will support this uh, but for now i don't have any tags on it so for this theme we can't add any tag based on your wordpress uh, uh, setup you can or you could have tags for your page so we can say that by default tags are only for post but some themes or some setup like using a custom plugins uh, can help you to add tags on your page so that's the answer and when you are going to have tags by default if you're writing the tags for post i hope this video makes sense and you now know what is tags and when to use tags and how to use tags I'll see you in the next video till then take care and don't forget to subscribe my channel and be happy and safe take care bye bye